Question 13 goes over regression, and this is an important chapter to know the interpretations and how to solve the equations. We have two big equations that we will use in a later problem here. So here we are trying to predict the height of these nursing students using weight as the x variable. Height is the predicted y, and weight is the explanatory x. So Mary was one of the nursing students that was part of the study. Suppose Mary weighs 110 pounds. Use the regression equation to predict Mary's height in inches. We need to plug in 110 for weight right here, and then times it by 0.085. Then add this quantity to 54.55, and we will get 63.9 inches. And this is the predicted height of Mary, and this is just found by plugging in 110 for weight to predict Mary's height in inches. So if Mary is actually 65 inches, that is her y. The y is the actual. What would the residual be for this observation? So we figured out previously that her predicted is 63.9, and that is y hat. So y is the actual of 65, and y hat is the predicted of 63.9. And we can use our equation right here that the residual equals actual minus predicted. Now you just say residual wrap. Residual equals actual minus predicted. And we can write it out another way with e equals y y minus y hat because y is the actual and y hat is the predicted. So when we solve here with actual minus predicted, we get 65 minus 63.9 because we predicted 63.9 and she is actually 65 inches tall and we get 1.1. So that means that Mary is 1.1 inches taller than what we predicted her to be. So if you think about it, the line would be underneath her and we under predicted because she is 1.1 inches taller than the prediction of 63.9. Just a little interpretation of the residual right there that is not needed, but we can do for this problem. Next, we need to interpret the slope of this regression equation. So be careful, and let's use exact interpretation right here. For each one unit increase in x, we expect y to increase by b1 on average. And I say increase right here because it's positive. If the slope was negative, we would say for each one unit increase in x, we expect y to decrease by b1 on average. Also, we need to do this in context of the problem. So let's go ahead and put our context in here. For each one pound increase in weight, we expect height to increase by 0.085 inches on average. And just think about it for a moment. If we have someone who weighs 100 pounds and someone who weighs 101 pounds, our prediction in height would actually be 0.85 higher. Just plug it into the equation for yourself and you'll see adding one more pound increases the prediction of height by 0.085 inches. If we had to interpret the intercept right here, which is not on the practice test, but we can do, we can go ahead and say, on average, people who weigh zero pounds are expected to be 54.55 inches tall. And this is on average when x is equal to zero, we expect y to be b naught. And this does not make sense right here. This is something that would be an extrapolation of our model and is actually of no use to us because we don't have people who weigh zero pounds. So the intercept here is illogical probably why we didn't interpret the intercept, but sometimes we can question you to make sure you know how to interpret the intercept, and you also know how to figure out if the intercept is illogical, and maybe even if the intercept is an extrapolation of the model, which is going outside of the x bounds. There are no x observations at zero pounds, which is the weight. There's no weight at zero pounds, so we don't have any observations there, so our model isn't really meant to predict there. We're not meant to predict people at zero pounds. Finally, we get to the big portion of the problem that gets a lot of people stumped. But remember, break it down into its parts. John, another nursing student that was part of the study, is 68 inches tall. This is his actual Y. Remember, we are predicting height. So when we say he is 68 inches tall, the first thing you should write down is that Y equals 68. So we could use the above regression equation to predict his height. That would be Y hat. And we don't know his Y hat yet. And then calculate the residual and we would get negative 1.47. So this is E. This is his residual. Now we want to know how much John weighs in pounds. So let's go ahead and remember we have two equations right here. We have residual equals actual minus predicted. And we also have the equation y hat equals b naught plus b1x. So let's go ahead and try to figure out this equation right here. So now we can put in the equation the residual equals the actual minus the predicted. The residual is equal to negative 1.47. And this equals 68, which is his actual height, and then the formula for the predicted. The last part right here is the formula for the predicted, because remember, b naught plus b1x equals y hat. So everything in this parentheses right here, everything in this bracket, is equal to y hat. And if you'll notice, 
we just have one variable in here. We just have x. And this x is going to be John's actual weight.